What's up ninjas, it's Zipper and welcome to Zipper Gaming. Today I have a small special video for you guys about an indie game called Balthazar's Dream. So it's a 2D platform game uh, made in pixel art. It's very beautiful. I love pixel art games. It's a small developer team, developing team called uh, Silocybe Games. Uh, they gave me a Steam key of their game. They wanted me to do a, a promotion video on it, talk about the game. And then uh, also they said that they will give me five other uh, Steam keys afterwards. And you guess what? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to give you guys those Steam keys. I will do a giveaway and I will tell you guys later um, how to participate. And maybe you will be uh, the lucky one and get a Steam key to play this awesome game. So now... Uh, let's talk about the game and how this video is going to to be uh, separated. So it's going to be separated in three parts. A small introduction. I will talk quickly about the story. Not I will not spoil it too much. Then I will show you a gameplay video, and at the end I will uh, tell you guys my impressions of, about the game. So what about the story? So it's a story about a kid and his dog, and the kid Dustin is it by an ice cream truck and is really ill in a coma and basically there's no chances of him waking up and then you play the dog you're Balthazar you are sleeping next to your master at, in the hospital bed and you start dreaming and you're in a world with um, some menacingly presence and Balt, uh, Dustin sorry, is in trouble, he's a ghost, he's in trouble, someone uh, wants to hurt him in uh, the, the dream and you play as Balthazar and you have to save your master, so you have to get through all the levels, uh, there are 10 levels, um, most of, um, for an average of 3 hours of gameplay and that's it, you, you play the dog and you get through the levels to save your master. So that's the main story behind it uh, i'll let you guys now check out the um, gameplay video and i see you guys uh, afterwards uh, for my comments and my impressions on the game so yeah so you see the kid uh, with his dog, playing with his dog, and it's really sad because he's hit by a car. So it's Dustin, um, and now uh, you see some uh, images of uh, one, uh, he received this dog, and then they grow up, they built a very cool relationship. The dog dreaming about being super dog, giving him food under the table, and okay, so back to reality, unfortunately, and uh, Balthazar, the dog, will have to go through all the levels to save uh, his master. So. I have done the... Uh, I'm over with the game, I've completed it and uh, this time I will do a new game for you guys to see the first level and then I will stop just before the first um, dogfight with the boss, the first boss. Okay, so let's go. So here we are at the, the selection um, selection uh, menu where you can select your dog. Uh, there are five different dogs. Um, most of them uh, is just decorative. Even if one uh, 
dog the pug I think is a little smaller so it may affect uh, the gameplay um, this time I will go with um, the normal one so I will pick Balthazar so there we go so you see it's a 2d platform game uh, made in uh, pixel art it's uh, very beautiful and um, the soundtrack is uh, amazing uh, it really um, makes you think uh, that you are really dreaming uh, some kind of uh, small paced music with uh, a lot of rhythm so uh, it's very easy to control so I was playing on my PC without any um, controller so with the the touchpad the keyboard so you basically use uh, the, the, um, the the direction keys to go left right to jump you use space and basically that's it so we just go through uh, the beginning of the levels the, uh, the beginning of the level is not that that hard and you see there's uh, Dustin uh, which is a ghost and is constantly talking to the to to yourself uh, Balthazar if you want so um, this is not uh, so yeah so there you have the checkpoints and a uh, quick word on the oh you guys saw it I died like a, <laughs> a moron um, yeah, so quick word uh, on the checkpoints. Um, I think they are uh, well implemented uh, in the game. There are enough uh, checkpoints in the game uh, according to the difficulty of the game. So you are never really frustrated uh, when you die because you, you know that you have a checkpoint nearby. So that's cool because you're gonna die in this game. Um, it's not a die and retry game. Uh, like um, Super Meat Boy for example it's not that kind of game it's not that kind of uh, 2D platformer but um, it's more like a learn learn uh, game where you have to learn uh, the um, most challenging uh, segments of uh, gameplay because there are some parts that are uh, kind of difficult and you guys you guys will see it through the gameplay video uh, sometimes it's just me, it's my skill that is really bad and sometimes there are some challenging segments, but that's cool. So you can see the yellow stamina bar and you will see that if you hang to too much time on the rope you start losing stamina and of course if you run out of stamina you, you fell. So you have to uh, be quick but there, there's a trick you guys will see. If you keep on jumping on the rope uh, you will regain stamina. You saw it, I fell because I ran out of stamina. So Dustin is saying that he can't remember anything and uh, okay so he has to trust me. So you see there's a lot of checkpoints as I told you before. So there you just go from rope to rope to the couch. You jump. You have to be quick on those uh, platforms because uh, because they fell. If you stay too much time on them, or uh, no, sorry, they fell. Uh, if you touch them, they fell. That's it. But it's not about the time. If you just touch them, they fell. 
Yeah, and now comes the part with the, the vacuum cleaners. So uh, this is uh, kind of tricky, but it's a really smart um, implementation of um, gameplay there. Because when you go through a vacuum cleaner, you basically uh, lose your stamina. But this allows you to um, get a boost on uh, jumping, for example. You guys will see, so normally I cannot jump from one uh, platform to the other, but because I, I am out of stamina, I use the, the vacuum to jump uh, um, f uh, farther, farther, sorry. So there's the checkpoint again. You just go through normally, jump on the rope, hit the checkpoint again. You keep going. This part is a little bit tricky. You have to to jump on the right timing. As you, can, as you guys can see, I messed up a little bit here. So there we go. But you guys saw it, so you get through some uh, more challenging obstacles and straight away you have a checkpoint, so that's really cool. Okay, so now there's a new mechanic, it's uh, the jumping on the beds, it allows you to jump higher, some rebounds on the beds. Way to go. Nope, <laughs> almost there. Okay, let's keep going. Jump, nice. Climb. Come on. Oh, almost fell. And then managed to get up upstairs so you guys will see that uh, it doesn't seem too complicated uh, until now but it's getting tougher then you guys will see it so yeah so now you have some uh, enemies and basically you're a dog and you ate you don't really don't like chocolate and grapes. Yes, oh in this part, um, I don't know why but I fucked it up a lot. It's not even a difficult part but I was not concentrated. But yeah, sometimes um, a part that may seem easy to you may be difficult to another one so another person but yeah I, I died a lot here again and again I think <laughs> loser <laughs> okay I think it's the one not sure Yes, that's it. Okay, so here you have another part where you have to jump over uh, some chocolates using the vacuum cleaner. And there we go. Nice job. Nice job. Let's keep going. Okay. So there you see the grapes. And you jump straight into them, of course.
Let's get through. And there we go. Checkpoint. Right to go. Okay, so now it's a little bit more challenging because you need a, the right timing to avoid the grapes. But there we go. You see, there's a lot of checkpoints. That's really cool. Okay, let's go side to side. Nice. Okay. This part is uh, funny. You have to touch the table and then use it to protect yourself from the grapes. That was cool. Yeah, this part is tricky. You have to touch the table over there to then be able to jump on it using the, the bed. Nope. Try again. Okay. Okay, so now come the part with um, the cats. So you're a dog, but you are um, not afraid, but you can get beaten by cats. So you have to avoid them. For now, you will see later that you have uh, something to um, scare them. I don't want to say kill them because we don't kill animals. So you just scare them or whatever. They go... Mm, yeah, you guys saw it. I was killed by, by the cat again. Okay, managed to get through and now comes a new mechanic. Uh, so it's your favorite favorite ball and they they talk um, that's insane uh, do you remember all the fun time we had together playing with that ball and so basically you can take the ball in your mouth by pressing F and then comes a new mechanic so when you throw the ball you will um, slowly lose uh, stamina and once you have uh, no more stamina uh, Balthazar will um, try to catch the ball by itself so you guys will see why it is us useful sorry so you jump down then you see there you start losing stamina because the ball is on the other side and you can jump through the other side and you guys just saw it you also can use the ball to kick the cat's ass. Well, <laughs> try to do it at least. Which is a bit annoying is that you have to... I mean, it's logical, but it's annoying. You have to catch every time the ball again by pressing F. Sometimes it's a bit messy. Whoa, and those parts, they are tough. Well, this one I managed to uh, hit the three-point shot. First time, so it was okay, but um, you guys will see a little bit further. There's a part way much more complicated. And yeah, in this part, uh, normally I guess you're supposed to use the ball to kill the cats and then um, try to get through it, but I managed to find a, a more and easier way to get through by just jumping over them, so I get <laughs> you guys saw the, <laughs> the fail, well, so I don't use the ball here, it's way much easier to jump, so just go through the cats but jumping and now comes the the funny parts so this part is really tough because you have to jump and throw the ball at the same time and it's not easy at all so you have to um, hit the, the table to make it uh, fell so you can jump then on it to not be hit by the, the chocolate 
I guess so, I managed to hit the table. That's nice. And then I fell. Like a pussy. Okay, let's go. And now comes the, the, the toughest uh, part of the level, in my opinion. You have to hit a three point shot. So throw the ball into the basket. And it's not easy. So. And you guys will see it. Uh, <laughs> I struggled a lot and I hit like a miracle shot. I don't even. Uh, I cannot even understand how I did it. Well, but I was lucky. You guys will see it. We we'll struggle a little bit more. And then I just went berserk. Stephen Curry. Stephen Doggy. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was not funny. You guys saw it? Wow. Nice. Okay, and then I die. <laughs> okay, so. It's not over because you still have to jump there. So, you have to go there, wait for uh, being low at stamina and find the right timing to jump through. Nope. Try again. Okay, so that's it. And you get the checkpoint and basically that's the end of the first level. So, ah uh, no no no, sorry, it's not the end. There's still a small segment where you have to jump through the grapes so here basically you just need the right timing it's not that difficult and there we go now we reach the end so that was the first level um, afterwards you have the first boss I'm not showing it um, in the video so um, that's it for the, the gameplay part I explained you guys the main mechanics and uh, how the game feels and uh, it's over for the gameplay part so I will now tell you uh, my first uh, impressions of the game okay guys so gameplay video is done uh, now I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the game so basically what I like about the game is um, the story the story is very cool uh, very touching touching and um, the, the soundtrack is is cool too, uh, it's a bit sad, but well, it's very appropriated to that kind of game. Uh, the game is very beautiful, it's 2D pixels, it's amazing, pixel art, very cool. Um, then there is, um, if I talk a bit about gameplay, um, sometimes I feel like the controls are not very responsive and you end up dying because not you are not skilled enough but sometimes there's like a small lag in the controls but that's okay that that's not um, a big big deal and yeah so basically that's the main drawback of the game um, something very important is that the the checkpoints are very well implemented on the game and that's very important because it's not a, really a die and retry game but you're gonna die sometimes okay and when I play those kind of games normally uh, I get um, annoyed and I just want to give up because when you die too much and you don't have checkpoints that are well implemented or um, just che enough checkpoints yeah you 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 are become uh, you become frustrated and you give up the game. So this is not the case in this one in Balthazar's Dream. The checkpoints are very well implemented. There, there, there are a lot of them, and that's cool because it really motivates you to uh, keep um, going through the levels. Um, the levels are not that difficult in general, but there are some segments that are challenging, and that's cool because it had some. Um, added uh, replay value and that's cool so that was my main thoughts about the game it's a very small studio developing developing it and I think it's amazing the the job they have put it on that game um, also uh, stay tuned on the studio uh, news because they are re releasing uh, soon enough uh, a Kickstarter to their new games 
new game. Uh, so go there uh, on their website and check out uh, their their new game that will be released on Kickstarter uh, in the next days, I guess. Uh, I will put all the links uh, in the description below. I would like to thank uh, Silocybe Game uh, for this opportunity. Uh, it, uh, it has been really cool to discover the, the game and do this video. I hope you guys will enjoy the game too. Enjoy the video. Give me a like. Uh, don't forget that I will do a giveaway with the, those five keys that the studio, the developers will give me. So thanks again, uh, Silocybe Games. Uh, amazing game you have there. Um, and yeah, so basically that's it for today, guys. For uh, It was Balthazar's Dream. Um, I see you guys in the next video. And as always, Zipper is out.